Hello everyone, Genesis Rider here with another Genesis Tips and Tricks video. Today we'll be looking at a BTF game on the map, Settler. Now to start this clip off, I do want to say I did get 20 kills, 8 deaths, and 7 assists, and I will be editing this film down just to show you the more noteworthy moments of the film. So, let's just get right into it. So, starting off, the Incineration Cannon does permanently spawn bottom middle at the beginning of the game, and continuously respawns there uh, throughout the rest of the game. Now, the reason why I posted this gameplay specifically is simply because I wanted to show you guys a few very unique details and strategies on how to play capture the flag on Settler. Now right here, even though I get this player, I end up dying. I just wanted to show you guys how I ended up dying from that angle right there. Um, as you can see, I killed the enemy flag carrier, but I end up being DMR'd from this guy. This is a very, very good position, and it's one of the better positions on the map. In fact, if I were to hold, this was the best position on the map if you are red team. If you just jump up here on this edge, and when you want to attack, just crouch jump on top of here and shoot to your heart's content, then thrust your pack back when you get hit by enemy fire. So this guy just happened to shoot me right there. Now, I just want to run through what our strategy is before I just go ahead with this film. Our strategy is not to completely try to control the ridge. It is to run through the shotgun tunnel and while you will see some of my teammates occasionally up on the ridge the majority of the situations we are in we try not to do that and this is a great example film on how to control shotgun tunnel and really use that to your benefit and make people realize that the ridge on the side of the map just to my left here as I spawn behind me now is not the most powerful down position specifically in capture the flag and I that's the main point I want to get across to you during the gameplay is how unimportant ridge becomes once you have the incineration cannon and you're charging the shotgun tunnel as we're doing here this little jump that I'm showing you right now as I'm jumping around this rock that is very useful and it allows you to be completely covered from people who are up on the ridge this is why ridge is rendered a very powerless position on the map in capture the flag because if you only utilize the right hand side shotgun tunnel or our right hand side shotgun tunnel you can avoid fire from the ridge altogether skipping through a rather embarrassing death i had with the incineration camp at enemy base is just forward about 20 seconds in the film you can see that uh many of my teammates are over by the enemy base and i'm going to respawn and let's see what happens as you can see my teammate's going to try to pull the flag out the front but then i tell him you need to go around back the reason why is because enemy players are going to be spawning over here and most likely up here somewhere on this ridge. And as you can see, there's an enemy player right there. So coming out the very front of the base would leave them very open to those positions. If you go out the back, um, people on your teammates on top of the base can help you and you can run around back either to the Warthog, as we try once to do, or straight to Shotgun Tunnel. You want to run every flag through Shotgun Tunnel, out here, jump over this, onto here, and come around through there. So let's see how this film progressed. Now right here, I'm just running back to my base. I got a call out from Bossy's friend that one guy is one shot, and I end up cleaning out that kill. Very good call out on his part. And you can see that many of the enemy players are up on the ridge here, and it's going to give them some suppression fire here. And Bossy's friend is just keeping them at bay on the ridge there. He doesn't want them to push down the left hand side and steal our flag. Now, unfortunately, I do get cleaned up here. Here we're just protecting our flag and um, trying to get their flag back to our base as well. Uh, I get a pretty nice double here, um, just awareness, paying attention. Didn't even see that guy. Really turned on, got a good whip shot on for the double. You can hear the teammates BR or the enemy players BRs off to the left there. They're up on ridge again, and Voxel and I are pushing through the shotgun tunnel again. Now, I want you to notice what we do here. We don't just charge out, because we see people on our radar, and we know we have to get a few kills. So I throw a pretty good nade and get a few shots on the guy, and Mew is a really good job of um, cleaning these guys up as I weaken both of them for him. This guy lifts up and is completely focused on my teammate, so I'm able to get a good, clean shot here. Now, this is just really an unfortunate circumstance. Um, just to, goes to show, it's better probably just to run the flag than to try to worth out across the map just because this is very likely to happen if the enemy players spawn and get close 
to you. And I'd like to also point out that our teammates um, were nowhere near us. Now you can see Boss Expand and Alex charging over to the enemy base. But Voxel and I were basically alone during that entire time. Now, I would like to point out, why in the world do I suddenly turn around and run back here? Well, I'm immediately calling out to my teammates, Hey, look, guys, I'm the closest to our base because I just spawned. What that means is that it's my job if someone grabs our flag to immediately run back to our base because I'm the closest guy to our base. My teammates are all at the enemy base like they should be, pressuring the enemy, grabbing the flag, and moving back. Now Voxel is coming back my way because he knows that we're going to pull this flag out the side and our teammates carrying the flag has two other enemy, two teammates helping him. So we're going to stop this flag carry as best we can. I, get it, I end up getting shot from Ridge, and this is a precarious position simply because you can get shot from Ridge. These random uh, shots that are hitting my shield are that guy on Ridge who just got packed off. Um, really dumb maneuver on his part. It's a pretty good nade on me, but I'm backing up here. Again, I get cleaned up from this position, as you can see. Really good job on that enemy player's part. Um, our teammate's about to run in this flag and tap it for the second flag cap. Job of grabbing Ninja's part. Um, now I do switch to my uh, carbine and light rifle loadout. This has ammo and of course the firepower so I can carry two primary weapons. I don't use the uh, carbine too much in this gameplay but I do have some pretty good shots with the light rifle. My teammate's going to do an excellent job with the incineration cannon killing off the enemy flight carrier. This is a uh, kind of poor call I made with the incineration cannon grabbing it instead of trying to protect our flag. Um, I don't know how this shot that I'm about to fire doesn't register, uh, because it does hit the top of the base. I guess the guy got off the turret too fast, and I ended up cleaning him up right there if he's still behind. Uh, just a really good job right here of me using the thruster pack to get away from enemy fire. Just a really good job there. You may have wondered, how did I kill that guy on top of their base with the uh, light rifle? How did I do that? Well, the reason why is because I had already fired incineration can, obviously, and he's going to be very weak. So I just kept that in the back of my mind, jumped up top, and of course, there he is. Now here, I'm going to follow my teammate Voxel back through Shotgun Tunnel, and we're going to make this little jump right after we kill this player. This is the jump you make. It's really not that difficult uh, to do. As we pull back to our base, I'm trying to help my teammate out. Really good shots to the player and defend. Now, notice how we're all back at our base. You really do want to move as a unit, but also know your place on the battlefield. And it's moving on past this rather uninteresting stalemate we had next to Shotgun Tunnel. Really not that interesting. I'm throwing grenades, trying to bank them off this wall right here, uh, just like I did with this grenade, and it falls perfectly right there. And then I throw the grenade, another grenade, a little bit differently so that it will hit right here, um, weakening the shields of anyone in this hallway, you really want to use those angled surfaces to your advantage when throwing a grenade, bounce them off those surfaces is a really good idea. I see that there is a guy above me. I'm going to be pretty careful here. Inmate grabs the shotgun. I see that the incineration comes up, so I'm going to charge with my teammate over there to get it. Really good shots to fly right here to protect my teammate. An unshielded Spartan dies really fast by a light rifle. It's quite amazing. See how much damage it does. Now right here we're just staying alive, getting to the enemy base. And I want to point out something. Unfortunately I end up dying, uh, or actually I don't end up dying quite yet here. This has five incineration cannon shots, so I'm going to try to make it back to our base. Notice how we're not rushing this, and I mentioned team positioning a minute ago. I just want to point out where we all are. So we're grabbing the flag, and we're over here, but notice how there's a teammate back here sort of hanging out. That's what you want to do is be spread out along this area. When you're grabbing the flag, have most of your players over here, but have one guy hanging out around this general area, and this allows him to radar sense whether someone's about to grab our flag. Because if we're all over on this side, they could easily pull the flag, run it out our back, and start running it through the ridge. And once you get it about to here on the ridge, it's pretty much a guaranteed cap because it's very hard to attack the ridge and get a flag recap or reset because that position is easily defensible.
getting a good gear killer with its energy cannon. I'm staying alive behind this rock over here. A lot of people don't know that this even exists. It's a really good place to hide behind and just really be a pain in the butt to the enemy players. I'd say the is it advantages and disadvantages to both sides of Settler. Um, I don't say think one side is necessarily way better than the other. And here I have a pretty good incineration cannon shot. So we've capped the fourth flag and I'm going to drop down and grab this flag around the front of the base. And this is a kind of poor maneuver on my part. Again, you don't want to pull the flag out the front and that's a really good example of it. You want to pull it out the back. The reason I pulled it out the front is because I have no teammate support near me. So I thought that if I pulled it out the flag in my, the front of the base, I might be able to get a very quick um, push into the shotgun tunnel and maybe make it back to their base, but that didn't end up happening. That's just judgment calls you have to make during the game. Unfortunately, that was not the right one in that case. Now, I really like Mew's positioning right here, Voxel's positioning. Um, he's sort of giving an overarching eye. You can hang out on this little ledge here and just sort of watch what's going on while uh, having cover on your right-hand side. I really like that sort of positioning there. So we can just peek out and look at the enemy base and let us know who's coming and where. And um, this ended up being some pretty decent gameplay. I think one of the only kills I actually got with the carbine during this entire uh, film. Unfortunately, you end up getting surprised by a needler here. And that's one of, of one bad thing. Another teammate actually gets surprised by that. I should have called that out. Um, right through shotgun tunnel, there's a guy to the left of the needler. That's what my call would have sounded like. Unfortunately, Logic Whale dies by that same needler, guys, you can see. And here I'm going to just have some pretty good nades and uh, be able to clean up some people here. Uh, it's interesting to note that stairs do not react like you'd think to to grenades. If you throw grenades at a stair, it's just a, basically a flat surface. Just like this wall is a flat surface, the stairs react like a flat surface to grenades. So if you throw a grenade right here, it's just going to bounce straight up and hit this. That's what you want to do. You want to bounce a grenade, hit, hit the stairs, hit this little wall right here so that it bounces over here and kills someone, which this back grenade did happen to do. Once again, a pretty dumb death on my part at the enemy base. I rushed in when I shouldn't have and it really wasn't a good idea i'm telling you the fastest way to get to enemy base is through the shotgun tunnel side i run back try to grab my incineration cannon here and end up getting a few pretty good shots on here this is sort of a uninteresting portion of the film that i leave in simply because it helps understand the slowness that we progress into this flag notice how we're not just rushing in with three dots on our radar i actually get one enemy player down I see the second enemy player go down on my radar, and now I'm going to take out the third enemy player behind the base who's still camping. Notice how we approach that very slowly, very methodically. We didn't just rush in there and do random stuff. And now four enemy players have died, and they're going to be spawning on this area over here, and they're going to be able to do nothing because we have complete cover ball rushing back through here with our flag. If there's nothing you learn from this film, it should be at least this one thing, and that is this route that I'm taking right now is the fastest and safest way to grab the flag. Unless you just are really confident in a Warthog driver and you're not playing Infinity, capture the flag. Why do I say that? Because in Infinity, they can load out with plasma grenades and stick your Warthog. That happens repeatedly when you're obviously grabbing the flag. They can see exactly where your Warthog is. So let's look at the, some of the stats of the game. All right, you can see my stats right here after the game. 20 kills, 7 assists, 8 deaths, 330 score. Go to my medals. Um, I did get a decent amount. Not sure how I got three flag drivers. Uh, that medal seems to be kind of glitched in the game, but it gives you a pretty good idea of um, how to play capture the flag on Settler. Guys, if you like this video or just uh, like me slowing down and explaining the gameplay, like, subscribe to the video. It helps out a lot. And I'll see you on the next capture or whatever I end up recording. Peace, guys.